Hey guys, welcome back. It's Priestess Melissa. How are you doing? It is Saturday. Guess what? Today is also. So it's the 1212 portal. And I looked up to see what that's all about. So I decided to do our reading around that today, okay? So we'll use the Goddess Oracle cards just like we normally would because it's Saturday and it's Soul Sister Saturday messages. So uh, those are the cards we would normally use. Uh, before the 1212 portal, it says stepping out of your comfort zone, starting anew in your life, pushing yourself towards something different because you feel like you are not where you want to be on your journey. So how many people have been feeling that? Feeling um, that they know that there are certain ways that things have been going in their life. Sorry, guys, my eyes was my eyes itching there. Um, but saying that we want to do something new in our lives, but how are we holding ourselves back from really moving into that new life? And this portal is really cool because I feel like it's more of a preparatory uh, portal, if you will, uh, allowing us to connect with the portal that's going to be coming up with the uh, winter solstice right so when we walk through that portal that's like walking into that 2021 energy and we could really take you know what um, has happened in this year and where we have been and actually use it towards helping us to be even more powerful as we move into the new year it's a pay it forward kind of energy you know when you're uh, planning and keeping your energy uh, in the right space and then you're also connecting with those energies that can really serve you like these doorways this 1212 portal doorway and the one coming up on the solstice 1221 that's going to be wow um, so anyway this is the energy stepping out of our comfort zone we're going to look at the cards today and see what comes out in regards to that the top card I'm going to look at that as being what we need to step into and the bottom as far as what we need to move away from or, you know, as far as what may be holding us back from moving forward into that new energy, right? So let's go ahead and bring in the energy of this space today. Oh, by the way, I hope you like the hummingbirds. I found some. I thought they were really nice, especially the colors. Uh, went together well. So I put them up around my space. Uh, hummingbirds mean miracles in the animal totem, at least in my cards here for the animal totem. All right, bringing in great spirit today and thanking you once again for this 1212 portal energy. Bring through the message that is needed. Help me to impart the wisdom that will help change the hearts of those that need it the most, Great One. Help them on their journey so that they can move into this new life, this new energy, setting my ego to the outside. Thank you. Very powerful doorway today, guys. If you can't feel it, or if you haven't been feeling the energy leading up to it, where have you been? Because I know I have been in my own ways experiencing uh, those aspects of ourselves where maybe we're working towards something greater in our lives and holding our energy positively, you know, believing in ourselves and stuff like that. And, you know, you have to do that even in spite of um, things not coming together and happening just yet. You know, believing in yourself and keep continuing to motivate yourself along the way. And that can be tough to do, you know. And many of us may have not been taught how to set goals, achieve goals, right? Reach higher or for something better in our lives. And, um, you know, you have to understand that obviously there comes with some challenges in regards to that because a lot of it is dealing with ourselves, if you will, healing ourselves, figuring out what it is, like that riddle fissure, that energy that came out in the Bay cards yesterday. Um, for each one of us, that's going to be something different. So we have to figure out what, how we're holding ourselves back, doing that deep diving, right? Now it's time to walk through that doorway, through that portal. Are you ready to do that? So let's see what the cards have to say for us, the goddess cards, in regards to what we need to work on. Uh, what what will help us to step through this doorway is the, first, is the card that's going to come out. And the one on the bottom, what will help us to walk through this doorway, cycles and rhythms, understanding that you've come to that point where it is time to go ahead and walk through that doorway. It says, 
honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So we really need to get back into rhythm with our own, uh, you know, melody, our own song, you know, that kind of thing. It's more or less like how are we directing and leading our lives to support us in everything that we want to move more towards, you know? And this is that opportunity. This is a cycle that has an opportunity to end and you can more or less like write it and compose a new song, if you will, for your life. All right, so Hathor on the bottom, receptivity, that was in the reverse. So what we need to, uh, what did I say? This will help us and this is what we need to work on and move away from. So we've cut ourselves off in essence is what this feels like, you know, and this is an opportunity to reconnect with that deeper part of ourselves, right? That higher part of ourselves. And we probably haven't been doing that quite as much as we need to or would be helpful for us because it is a practice. You have to literally uh, focus on, and it, you know, you do have to take it seriously is basically what I'm saying, especially if you're creating something big or you're making a change in your life uh, to connect with spirit in this higher way, to have this milk and honey, if you will, you know, just like her breasts are um, providing that sustenance and nutrition, right? Spirit is here to help you know, you on this journey, because again, it's talking about you're not where you want to be on your journey. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So this not only helps you, but it helps others as well, because you're moving into this energy that is not of yourself alone, if you will. Even as energy healers, we know that we don't use our own energy, but we draw on that infinite spirit energy, right? And you always want to do this whenever you're seeking to, you know, create something bigger in your life, if you will. Uh, trying to do it all yourself is not going to be the way to go about doing it. But what is this thing within your own life, you know, holding yourself back, keeping yourself from moving into this next phase of your life? So this is what we're going to look at a little bit more. And as a bonus, I'm actually going to pull one of the Witch's Kitchen tarot cards. That will actually give us an invocation slash affirmation that we can actually use to bring, and even an herb, if you will, uh, to help us in moving through this cycle, all right? So let's get into it today and see what the cards have to say for us. First, we're going to pull out, I'm going to pull out the... Um, Dolores Ashcroft Nowicki. These are her Servants of the Light tarot cards. This is basically just her version of the original Rider Waite tarot, right? So it is a tarot deck. So we're going to see what's going on here. What kind of energy these cycles and rhythms have held us back from connecting with ourselves? Because right now, <coughs> moving into this new cycle is, is truly what's going to help you. And it's what's held you back, is what it's saying. All right, so again, pushing yourself towards something different because you feel like you're not where you want to be. Stepping out of your comfort zone and starting anew in your life. What does that mean for you? Share with me if you don't mind. And your uh, mine is, you know, like around money and just creating my own life and being uh, independently wealthy. Being, showing that I can create, you know, wealth for myself and, and generate money for myself based on, you know, my own offerings to the world, my own purpose. What are yours? What are some of the things that you're wanting to work on, right? Connecting with other people and things of that nature, maybe. Having better relationships. All right, four of swords in reverse. So... This is, you know, right now at the moment, still not clearly seeing what is going to bring us this happiness. Uh, a lot of us, I do feel, are in this kind of depressed state, in this in-between, and I can understand that as well. We're still trying to figure out exactly, maybe still not completely knowing exactly, and really just tapping into this more positive way of thinking and feeling. Um, even in the moments when you don't feel like it. And I have to work with myself as well because it is a practice. If we were not taught how to do this, then we have to teach ourselves how to do it 
through the practice, right? Just continuing to be compassionate with ourselves um, and allowing ourselves to move into that more compassionate place brings us more of that softer, you know, vibration and rhythm, if you will, to our lives. We vibrate more in that way. In balance here in the home space. Yeah, definitely feeling like um, this could have been because of an ending of a relationship potentially, but in essence, just not feeling balanced within our own, you know, space, our home life, if you will. Ooh, and then the emperor did come out after that in the upright. So maybe this did have to do uh, with a relationship or just not feeling empowered in your life, you know, within your home and um, feeling like you're wearing that crown because uh, usually that denotes like a masculine energy uh, based on these cards. But either not... <clears throat> Because it's interesting, these are both four cards. So working on holding more of that energy of that emperor, even if you're a feminine energy, so that you can take control of all of the aspects of your home. Maybe it's been very hard to even speak up for yourself, but you're being asked to do so and ask for what you need. Wow, emperor's in the reverse. Now this could indicate that uh, we feel like we're not seeing that you know, growth, because this is in our headspace. We're not feeling, you know, that we can create and have that abundance in our lives, have that birth of new and goodness, but we actually have received this ability to reconnect with the star card and the upright for the past energy. It's saying that you have this opportunity uh, to move into this more balanced space, to see those mountains as not really as big as they are and understand that you are much bigger than they are because look at this image of this person, much bigger than any aspect, the water, the land, the rainbow, again, indicating, you know, that there is promise that if we can see ourselves as bigger than our situations, then we will have that balance. But right now, um, we may be focused on with so much of this energy coming out with the emperor, em empress energy and now the lovers in reverse. The reason for the reading, imbalance either in relationships or with ourselves. And of course, if we're imbalanced within ourselves, then we are going to find ourselves in imbalanced relationships. There is some deception, something that we may not be aware of. But again, this imbalance is causing a lot of, I really just feel um, sadness and uh, depression even as a result of feeling like someone may be keeping us in the dark about something or holding ourselves back from really moving into that abundant energy because we may be focused on a past lover. You know, um, Six of Cups generally indicates a past life relationship or a soulmate energy. And this was, you know, something that just didn't pan out really. It was very hurtful, you know, to you. But continuing to hold on to this hurt, user of uh, Cups, so this would be the Knight of Cups. You know, in reverse, this uh, outside energy or this person that you may be looking at, maybe this emperor energy uh, or this person that was more of an authoritative type of person, you may have resonated more with the feminine type of energy. So this Knight of Cups in reverse talking about uh, that it was a situation that was fleeting and that it would come and go, but now it's ended. Three of Pentacles for hopes, wishes, and fears. We're hoping that we can really connect with something of value, something that really will bring stability in our lives. But you see that gesture there, it's almost like choose wisely, you know, be aware of, of what's on the table, what's before you. Don't be disillusioned by uh, what you're being offered and think about it, kind of like don't take the first offer that's laid out before you. Yeah, be aware of making a balanced decision. You may not be in a place to make a decision just yet. Don't rush or force yourself into that. Always go at the pace that is best for you. If you don't have all of the information, you may need to hold back just a little bit longer because you're talking about your life. And it's very important that, you know, you're connecting with people that are going to help move you forward in positive ways. Um, if you were connected with someone who was always making you feel 
less than or not good about yourself or just constantly concerned, you know, about the relationship or about the um, commitment of the other person. And your focus was always on that as opposed to your higher perspective and connecting with that. And so then you lost that connection to some degree because you were too focused on mundane things or the earthly things as they say. So you're being asked to refocus at this time um, and really see what you need to see because there is so much growth potential for you. But when you put all of your eggs in one basket or you think that only one person is the way or the you know person for you, because really anybody can be the one for us. You know, it's about who are they? How are they matching up with our own energy? And if we really want to receive something of a higher nature, of a higher relationship, of a more of a commitment, then we also have to be more committed to ourselves and our own growth, right? Make ourselves valuable. Um, only connect with those people of value, if you will, as well. All right, so this is the Witch's Kitchen, Witch Hazel and Sensitivity. I really want to do that again, but just be aware, sensitivity, you may be really sensitive at this time in regards to the situation. Intuition, mugwort is coming out once again. So be aware, yeah, and sensitivity is on the bottom, Witch Hazel. Uh, Witch Hazel talks about, you know, um, more or less like that cleansing and protective aspect and of course that's something you can use on your skin and things of that nature mugwort very interesting in regards to the intuition you're really being asked to look at this situation for what it is really uh focus on how you feel and if you don't feel right about it regardless of how much you may want to uh, have this with someone or whatever it just may not be the right thing for you so sometimes there's that truth that we have to be willing to face and you know the tough love kind of things you know it's not always the easiest but it is the best for us right so mugwort's guidance says doubting your intuition has put you in denial my appearance in your kitchen today is to reassure you that your instincts are to be trusted the visions that you have when you drink me as a natural tea infusion are valid as i open your clairvoyance up to magical frequency level i am associated with prophecy and invite you to burn an incense stick made of my dried magical self while you perform any divination rituals soon you will believe in that inkling you've been having for your hunches are always correct let me take you deep into the trance where i will develop your sixth sense further and strengthen your psychic powers as dreams and enhance your lucid dreaming abilities, especially if you bathe in a ritual bath sprinkled with my dried leaves prior to bedtime, sweet magical dreams. Ooh, I would encourage you to get some mugwort today. I may do that as well. Have some tea, burn some incense, uh, put it in your bath. Is that what they said? Yes. In a ritual bath sprinkled this is 12 12 so we can put that in we can drink it and we can ask you know infinite spirit to reveal to us what it is that we need to know open our sixth sense and help us to be able to move past these situations that may have been holding us back all right so it says for the affirmation or invocation for this card it says never doubt your second sight Trust me when I say you are right. Burn a stick of pure incense to intensify your sixth sense. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be there, it is done. That's it. If you wanna know what's going on, if you wanna open up your inner knowing and guidance to whatever answers you may need today for your own situation, Mugwort is calling to you to let you know that it will assist you in being able to know what it is that you need to know. Ask your questions, drink the tea, take a ritual bath tonight. Um, ask spirit to show you how you can be able to move forward even more in your life 
Watch your words for sure. It says gossip dims your glow. Don't even talk about this situation is what I'm getting about this, especially on the phone. Those two are talking on the phone and you can see this other person back here may even know the other person or that kind of thing. So it's not even worth getting into a back room forth or a tit for tat or anything like that. Trust in what you know and what is revealed to you and just move forward from there. It says speaking poorly about others tarnishes your your energy and your reputation so avoid bonding over complaints and feeling superior even if you are guys right in the situation right it only makes you look bad because think about how you look at other people when um, even if you know they're in the right but they're speaking poorly or illy you know ill about something it, it kind of takes away from that positive vibe and energy of them so avoid bonding over complaints and feeling superior. Human beings weren't designed to be perfect and this includes you. Instead, raise your vibration by engaging in positive communication. Celebrate what does work and who is awesome. The more you do this, the more radiant you will become. I love it. That will help to elevate your energy, guys, because it's all about love. It's all about moving back into your peaceful place. And you know what? Not everybody is meant for us, and that's okay. If they don't resonate with your energy and it's a constant tug on your energy back and forth, you know, focus on your own love. Focus on connecting with that higher part of yourself, which will bring you everything that you need while you're in the process of connecting with your new tribe, if you will. All right, it says your thoughts are vibrations that attract positive or negative energy, and we just talked about that. Notice your current emotional state, talked about that as well. Clear any negativity through conversation, movement, breath work, prayer, meditation, and so on. And, you know, say those things in positive ways, you know, that I am lovable, I deserve good relationships, I am a good person. And then, you know, in your speech with other people, focus on how you are saying things and, you know, what vibration you are connecting to when you are speaking, how your light is being seen by others. Then guide your thoughts back to love and abundant of possibilities because if you understand that there are abundant possibilities, then you're not going to get upset. You're just going to realize that, hey, this person is no better than me and this situation just wasn't meant for me. And you can start healing that and move into that place where all of those abundant possibilities truly do open up for you. When you elevate your energy, you attract abundance, health, and prosperity into your life, which is everything that we want, right? So, are you willing to walk through the doorway? It is time today. There is a cycle to all of this, and this is an opportunity to move through this cycle if you're ready to beat to a different drum than what you've been beating to. Set a new rhythm into motion, right? Are you ready to connect even deeper than you have before and open up all of the abundance that is waiting for you, right? Hathor energy, Amave energy today connecting with us. Let's read real quick about the Mave cycles and rhythms. I did not read that card today. My fault. I will read that real quick so we can see what this has to say to us because I know you want to know. But really, doesn't it feel like we're moving out of this tougher and denser energy? And it really is an opportunity through this, you know, dark night energy, this winter energy, if you will, where people can feel more uh, dark potentially. And we have an opportunity to use that energy to actually rise higher. It says, all of life is cyclical, the moon, the stars, and the very universe. Life inhales and then exhales again. So why should you be so surprised or upset that you too have cycles? There are times when you feel energized, awake, and alive. There are other times when you feel isolated and shy. Your body, too, goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the lifeblood that courses through you. Meanings for this card, female gynecological changes, starting menses or menopause, for example, are an issue for you. Make time to rest. Initiate steps to alleviate depression or lethargy. Take better care. Hi. Take better care of your body. Seek support for dealing with emotional crises. 
and allow yourself to grieve or take time off. Know that this lull will not last forever. A doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it now. Wow, that is pretty powerful. A doorway, 1212 portal doorway. It's an opportunity for us again to step out of our comfort zone into something even greater for ourselves. So this will take you out of that lull, that depression, having purpose in your life, having something that you're working towards. Uh, find something that has meaning to you that you can even just put your attention towards. It doesn't mean that you have to necessarily be starting a business or anything. It just means that you're putting your energy, your time, your attention towards something that is really of interest to you and will actually make you feel better. You know what I mean? Help take you out of this depressive state. So about Mave, Maeve, sorry is how you say it, a Celtic goddess celebrates her femininity. Her sexual appetite is legendary and she has been said to favor kings as her lovers. Yeah, so she goes for things of a higher nature and that's what you should do, queen or king. All right, it says, legend says that M M Maeve, invoked labor pains on an army seeking to invade her land and that she demanded that the battle cease during her menstrual cycle. So call upon May for relief from pain associated with feminine cycles, including menstruation, labor, and delivery or menopause. Wow, interesting. Well, so I guess they got to see what it feels like, right? There you go, because you know, it is a lot of pain. <laughs> going through labor. Sometimes it can be also, you know, having our menstrual cycle. Interestingly enough, uh, I'm on my moon cycle today. This is very cool that this is coming out with all of this energy. So I see that too. We all have an opportunity to raise and elevate our vibration today to move through these cycles and understand that these changes in our bodies or these changes in our lives, whatever they may be, it's all a natural part of the process and we don't have to like take it so hard. You know what I mean? Uh, just walk through the door. Just be resolute. You know, yes, it's going to be a little tough, but it's going to be tough if you stay where you're at as well, right? So make your decision, but Maeve is here to help you to move through all of this and help you to beat to the rhythm of a new drum, right? You guys ready to do that and really have this awesome energy come forth for us and really see all of our blessings come to pass? It is able to happen. So challenge yourselves, right? Give your own self a challenge and maybe even challenge others. What can you do to move out of your comfort zone, to move through your doorways, right? And out of these old cycles. Blessings to you. I know you can do it. Lots of love and thank you for being here with me today. And uh, tomorrow we will do our messages for the week, guys. Our weekly messages with the uh, Isis Goddess cards. Those are really cool because we get to really see what's going on for us and what to expect, what, what we can really set our sights on and work towards as we move into this uh, winter solstice. Because like I said, I feel like this is just like a pre-doorway. It's like, you know, preparing us by being willing to walk through this doorway. Then we're going to be ready to walk through that major doorway doorway that's coming up at the winter solstice portal, right? So join me back there and see what we got going on at that time. Today is 12-12, 12-21 is when we want to meet back to see what's going on at that time. So we'll read the cards and I'll let you know. But in the meantime, yeah, guys, you can do it. I know you can. I know you're ready for this new life. Mwah. Blessings and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.